During the early years of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, the Hasbro toy line was always grounded in a level of reality. Even if vehicles like the Snowcat weren't actually based on anything in the real world, they certainly looked like they could possibly exist within the modern military. However, in the latter half of the 80s, the design of the G.I. Joe toy line began to take on a more sci-fi styled edge, with vehicles that looked more futuristic than realistic. The introduction of the Cobra Empress of Pentor in 1986 is a key milestone that differentiates the early era military style G.I. Joes from the later sci-fi styled ones. It's ironic that in this same year, when the theme of the G.I. Joe storyline was moving in a more fantastical direction, Hasbro would release their G.I. Joe military vehicle masterpiece, the Tomahawk. Hello toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel and the feature of today's vintage toy review, the G.I. Joe Tomahawk from Hasbro. Take a look at the new G.I. Joe Tomahawk. Look, Cobra's attacking the Off-Breaker. Tomahawk to the rescue. Tomahawk holds eight Joes and it's loaded for battle. Yo, Joe! Tomahawk's gonna chase some Cobra. Tomahawk is on the go. Tomahawk's gonna chase some Cobra and rescue G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Live the adventure of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe Tomahawk. Other Joe and Cobra figures sold separately. Yo, Joe! Hasbro first released the G.I. Joe Tomahawk in 1986 with an original retail price of $12.99. The G.I. Joe Tomahawk is a tandem rotor heavy lift transport helicopter capable of transporting an entire squad of G.I. Joes into any Cobra battle zone. Featuring super realistic detail, the G.I. Joe Tomahawk has a gorgeous two-tone desert camouflage paint job. And while not completely identical, the Tomahawk is similar in design to the US Navy's CH-46 Sea Knight. The opening bulletproof canopy allows access into the Tomahawk's cockpit, which has Kevlar armoured seating for a pilot and a navigator. The opening cargo door gives the Joes access to the rear of the Tomahawk, where a squad of five GI Joes can board the aircraft and take their places in the removable troop seats. Although the Tomahawk is primarily an airborne troop transport, it's also heavily armed and quite capable of mounting full-scale aerial assaults on attacking Cobra troops. The Tomahawk has a chin-mounted minigun turret, pivoting door guns and a complete arsenal of missiles and bombs carried under its canard wings. The twin rotor blades can be spun by hand, but when finding a Hasbro Tomahawk on today's secondary market, quite often you'll find many of the rotor blades are prone to drooping. The Tomahawk also features a rear-mounted stabilizer fan that spins and pivots. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. The train! Let's beat it! Come on, hurry! We can make it! Hey, stop! It's too late to cross! Hold up! Hold. That's a dangerous game you two were playing. Listen to your friend Chris. Those gates are provided as a warning to let you know that it's not safe to cross. We couldn't be hurt. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Rounding out the features of the G.I. Joe Tomahawk are the cargo winch and the wheeled landing gear arrangement. The Tomahawk's pilot, codenamed Lift Ticket, is the one area of this toy that is really disappointing. Lift Ticket is one of the ugliest G.I. Joes ever sculpted. He's prone to having the paint rubbed off his nose, and he came with a tiny microphone accessory that is always missing. The Tomahawk was one of the most popular G.I. Joe vehicles ever made, so it's not surprising that it made many appearances in the Marvel comics, and also featured prominently in G.I. Joe the movie in 1987. One scene in the movie even featured a group of G.I. Joe recruits hotwiring a Tomahawk so they can join the battle against Cobra. Hotwire this baby and we're out of here. I never received the G.I. Joe Tomahawk as a gift when I was a child, but in 1989, a close childhood friend of mine swapped his Tomahawk for my Cobra Hydrofall. Now, 
We didn't intend to swap these toys forever. We just wanted to borrow them from each other for a couple of weeks. But as time dragged on, we eventually both ended high school and really got out of playing with toys. Eventually, the discussion of returning each other's toys faded away. And to this day, I still possess that original G.I. Joe Tomahawk. Sadly, I've lost touch with my childhood friend over the years. But I'd like to say now, Danny Russell, wherever you are, thank you. And if you still have my Cobra Hydrofall, I hope it brought you as much joy as your Tomahawk brought me. In my opinion, Hasbro's G.I. Joe Tomahawk was the best vehicle ever made for the 1980s G.I. Joe range. It was such a classic that I can forgive the sins of drooping rotor blades and an ugly pilot. The Tomahawk is visually striking, cool as hell, and the most badass ride a G.I. Joe could wish for. I score this toy 5 out of 5. So that's our review of the G.I. Joe Tomahawk. Did you agree with our score? Leave us a comment in the section below, and please, if you like this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest videos featuring vintage toys.